Hi everybody, welcome to episode 11. Let's do this. <clears throat> okay, so where were we? That's right, we're making some more solar panels. Let's do that. Now we're out of tin, so let's see. Let's scare up some more. Okay, now while that's happening, let's first get some shut eye. Okay, while well, that's happening, let's see if we can get that nuclear reactor in the way. Okay, first thing we're going to need, I'm going to need some casing, a single fuel rod, and a controller, a power tap, and at least one, preferably two, access ports. So most of this stuff seems fairly straightforward. We're just going to need a whole bunch of graphite. Best way to make graphite, cut down a bunch of trees, uh, burn them in a furnace to make charcoal, and uh, burn that charcoal some more to make graphite bars. So, first order of business, let's uh, harvest some wood. Okay, so we have a whole stack of wood. Let's throw that in there. Now while that's cooking, let's see how our uh, tin is going. Ah, oh, beautiful. It's 15 gets. Should be more than enough. <clears throat> let's have a look at our quarry. Come along nicely. It's uh, gone through the first layers um, quite effectively. Let's just uh, get it out. Okay. Okay. Still regular quartz. No. Uh, no charge quartz crystals yet, but that's all right. There's time. Oops. Okay. Let's deposit this. Yep, yeah, this is definitely full. Okay, a nice little tin there. Let 
us make some mirrors. Okay, that's six panels. That's plenty. We can put these two panels together with it. We can make a concentrated a second tier panel. So let's do that. <coughs> Okay, so there's three lots of 16 RFs. It gives us a nice income of 48 RFs per tick. As this is cooking along, I'm starting to run out of space, so I'm going to make some hoppers. for one side, one for the other. There we go. And just throw the charcoal back in there. So once it's done with all this wood, it will turn its attention to the charcoal. Once it's done with that, it'll do the sand. There we go. Okay. Do we have enough glass for any more mirrors? Yes, we have at least two. We're a bit shy on tin. How is our uh, block come along nicely? Okay. So that should be enough for at least one more solar panel. Lovely. That's another two RFs added today, added to the total income. Okay. Um, throw in some cobblestone, keep that from coming along. There we go. Keep making more sand and keep making more charcoal. And keep making modified bars as we go along. Okay, good stuff. So, um, hmm. I'm going to need to set up an area where to sort of set up our nuclear reactor bits and pieces. So I'm just going to place a chest to sort of designate the new area. Um, and I'll throw the yellowium in there. That should be it. We're going to need a bunch of iron as well. I don't think we're going to need a lot of glass, but uh, how much uh, we have no iron left, so might smelt down some more iron in preparation for that. Let's go grab some iron. There you go, 37 blocks of iron, that's pretty good. That is plenty. Some graphite bars, very nice. Okay, so let's get started. Um, I'm gonna start with a controller, hopefully. That is the heart of the reactor, and that one needs a diamond. And it needs four lots of reactor casings. Okay, so let's make those. We need four graphite bars, a single uranium or eulorium, and four lots of iron. I'm out of wood, so I'm just going to get some more.
this up. Okay. Let's do our bench. Beautiful. Okay. Now, what was the recipe again for our casing? So we need four lots of casing with four lots of iron and uh, graphite. So we do that, do that, and that to make a casing. And on the other side, I'm going to use that casing, so I'm just going to place another uh, crafting station on the other side so we have access to it. So put that in there. Now, our controller takes two Elorium or uh, uranium ingots, a diamond, a redstone, and four casings. Okay, do that. Two of these and some redstone. I believe we have some of that around. There we go. Oops, in here. Okay, and that gives us a controller. Next, we need a control rod, which takes another four lot of casings, three graphite bars, the Elorium ingot. Okay, so we're gonna need a few casings. Um, they're pretty expensive in terms of graphite, because we, we're still pretty shy on that. And it's expensive in terms of iron as well. And Elorium, generally speaking, it's it's all quite expensive. So. I might just set this up like that, and uh, we'll need to get some more. Let's see. So that's a nice lot of graphite bars. I'll throw this wood in there to get burned, and we're going to turn in. I've got to keep uh, chopping down the ch chopping down that wood. Um, as I said, uh, nuclear reactors are pretty expensive, but um, once you've set up just a small single reactor, you're pretty well on your way. Let's see now. Do, 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 do. Wrong one. There we go. So let's place all of this uh, graphite in there and make a bunch. Make just eight. Okay, we need more iron. Let's go grab it. So, how is our iron reserves? Okay, we have 58 ingots. That should be plain. Just going to take a little while to break it out, but that's all right. This tin away. How are we for glass? We have no glass yet. Okay, let's go make some more casings. Okay. So that's eight casings. It should be enough, I think. Okay, we need six lots of iron to make a fuel rod. We have a controller. A control rod takes four casings, three graphites, and a Eulorium brick. Okay, so that's a reactor control rod. We will have a reactor controller. We're going to need a bunch of casings, so that one and that one. Let's see now. 
So the top layer, just the basic reactor, will require this many casings for the top layer. Um, let me just arrange it properly. Like that will be the top layer. Next layer down will look something like this, except all of that filled in as well. So it'll take one of these in the side. It will take a fuel rod in here. It will take, uh, let's see, a, an access port here and here, and a power tap here, and then another layer of casings. So we're doing well. It's got to keep. Um, it's got to keep making more graphite and cutting down more of these trees. It's starting to get nice and worn out, so let's go fix that up. Oops. There we go. Now let's go pick up some more of our iron. Oops. There we go. That in here, another lot of casing, that should go something like that. So we need one, two, three, four, five more casings. What about our access ports? Access ports require four casings each, and the reactor power tap requires another four casings. So for us, we're going to need one, two, three, four, five casings, and then four, eight, 12 casings. So we're gonna need another 17 case. Yes. Well, nothing like today, so let's keep going. Keep making that graphite. While that's happening, we may as well accelerate the process. Keep making more solar panels. There we go. these and all of that. More of those. Lovely. Okay, that's eight. Eight panels. Combine them together. And we have a second panel, second tier panel. And we add another 16 RFs to the mix. Going slightly faster. Lovely. Now throw in some more cobblestone because we can. Okay, it looks like it looks like we have reached the capacity of these two machines. This one is drawing 20 RFs per tick. That one is drawing 40 RFs per tick, meaning a 60 RFs total. And we have one, two, three, four. We have four lots of 16, which gives us 64 RFs per tick which is more than both of these machines consume. Excellent. So that should be enough solar panels for these two machines, unless we want to add more machines. But at this point, I'm not terribly interested in that. So I'm just going to keep feeding them more materials as they go. Anyway, let's have a look at our casings. So, where are we? There we are. Throw some more iron into the mix. That's another four casings. Okay, we need more iron. We need lots more iron. So we have another 47 ingots. That should be plenty. It's just a matter of waiting for it, really. We have any more iron ore? It doesn't look like it. Maybe let's see. Copper, more copper. Lots of copper, no one. Okay. 
Nope. That's all right. We'll find lots more iron as we go. It's just a matter of time. So that's that. So that's the bottom layer, top layer. And then we need to be making one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Okay, so we need another four, five casings to go. One, two, three, four, five. Need enough iron to make that happen. Need another, at least another four ingots. At least another eight ingots uh, to make that happen. So. Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> I've, I've overshot. We have plenty of casings. Okay, good stuff. So right now we should have enough uh, casings at least to make our reactor. Let's um, see about making the required components. So the um, power port or uh, power tap as it's called needs four lots of redstone and four casings. So let's make that first. Okay, so that's one. Uh, we want an access port, which is four casings, a chest, and a piston. So let's make a piston. We're going to need two of these, so we'll make two. Two. A uh, nice lot of wood. Which we don't have, so we better, ch we better chop down some more trees. Nuclear scientist, I'm making nuclear reactors and I'm chopping down trees with my with my axe to make my nuclear reactors. Bit of fun. I'm a nuclear scientist and uh, an arborist at the same time. There we go. What's happening? Oh, it's sunset. Okay. Let's see, we have nice little wood. Let's extract that. Okay, so we're making our piston now. So two lots of those. We need a nice lot of cobblestone. Cobblestone up here. There we are. Two pistons. We need another chest, so. A bunch of chests, always a need for these. So, two chests, two pistons, eight castings, and we are one short. Oh, never mind. And another one. Excellent. That gives us all the parts we need for a reactor, except, we almost forgot, we do need a fuel rod. Okay, so that is one of these. Two of these. And lots of iron. So we need another five lots of iron. First, let's get some shut eye. like a light spring rain and it's immediately gone okay so let's get some more of that iron how much do we still have to go another four buckets that's fine we now have enough iron to make our first reactor I do believe we do yes there's our fuel rod so this is going to be our first tier reactor, and we're going to use it to power our uh, our quarry. I'm not sure how many RFs per tick we're going to get out of it, but um, well, it's going to be fun finding out. And this Eulorium stack is going to be fuel for it. So let me just prearrange my uh, inventory here. Yep, that's fine. So whoops, up here. 
So we want all of the casings. We want all of the uh, all of, all of the uh, access ports, controller, power tab, fuel rod, control rod, um, fuel rod, and a control rod. Okay. Now we're gonna need some cabling, some way to connect. So we're gonna need some flux sucks. Okay, so we're gonna need some flux ducts. Let's do lots of lead, nice lot of redstone. Okay. Where is our lead? There's a lid. Okay, it looks like we have two different types of lead ingot. Okay. They should both work just fine when creating our uh, flux ducts, though, so should be fine. Get some more glass. Lead. Flux ducts, we have our reactor, we have some spare lead, I'll just throw that away. Okay, let us go and connect our new, brand spanking new nuclear reactor. Skip it along, skip it along, here we go. Okay. 
it's going considerably faster now, which is very, very nice. And we have our first ever nuclear reactor. some hardened uh, flux ducts, but to do those we're going to need to make some invar. The invar blend is a mix of iron and ferrous. Okay, so we will do that next time. And we've gone into the nuclear age. Excellent. Alright, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.